What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Assassination Classroom. Today we are doing season two, episodes one and two. I am very excited to start this new season. Now, remember, if you guys don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full uncut version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So click the link in the top of the description for the free uncut. Come back here afterwards for the review. And if you do enjoy that format, consider checking out that Patreon. There's tiers for that. You guys get great benefits and also support your boy immensely. So I appreciate that. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below and please subscribe and turn that notifications bell on so you always know when I post over here. Assassination Classroom Season 2, Episode 1. The first one is called Summer Festival Time. Let's do it. Oh, you know I would be getting some sun, get test of courage. Okay. Yeah, and I know you want to have fun. Okay, I was say, our lives were on the line. It was kind of some scary stuff, right? Baser goal in mind. Which was what? Matchmaking? Like a love? For the students or for him? <laughs> it's like when you're at the fair and you go through the haunted and you're finishing and you hear the people behind you going through the same thing. That's hilarious. Most afraid of not being afraid. That's a little deep right there. I wonder what that means. I do like how they very much specify Twister. <laughs> um, how they very much specify Nagisa is an excellent... Like, he... It's good in other aspects, but he's an excellent assassin specifically, you know? This is a blood-drenched cave of tragedy. Now they're turning the turning the tables, making him all scared. Horror cartoonist? How does that scare you? <laughs> you did kind of look like him, but <laughs> what? I won't lie, though, in, in his defense, shared trauma, <laughs> like being scared, is the best way to form couples, especially in TV shows and stuff. <laughs> what a shabby grown-up. True. Like I said, some of them have bigger priorities. Some just aren't interested right now. Some have to focus on their studies, extracurriculars, saving the world. You did take. You did pull an all-nighter. Come on, come on. <laughs> That's the couple they're gonna try to push together. Okay, we were sleazy. You guys are hilarious. Look at Nagisa. But it's not gonna work. Karasuma does has the opposite of interest. A world-class square. Talking about a rare bird. If you guys just heard a squeak outside, that was a loud bird outside. Trying to get him to fall for me. Before I knew it, I fell for him. That's how it be. <laughs> Shouts out Miss Arena. Even though it's so genuine and they only mean it in a good way, they still call her Professor Bitch. Like, come on. The pair-up plan. The love consulter. <laughs> totally, if it's <laughs> revealing, it's appealing. They're not wrong. Normally, but should they be wrong? But against Karasuma, yeah, I agree. Kanzaki's a good uh, example. Yeah. What? Because Kanzaki doesn't have this body shape. <laughs> Kyle was like, I agree. Kyle was always upset she doesn't have boobs. And they do say you can win a, a man's uh, heart over with food. Yeah. They say you can win a woman's heart with like humor, making her laugh, you know? Look at, he's like, wait, 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 wait. was that an Attack on Titan reference? I don't know, but look, look at that. Come on. There's no, that literally has to be. That's funny. Yeah, of course, Karasuma's the problem. 
Hi. She's still a little taken back that we're doing this much work for her helping her out. We care about you now, Miss Arena. Oof. Now, isn't this a nice candlelit sunset on the island with the... Trying to have the scarf cover up the calcium cannons? <laughs> Look at Cora and the rest of the kids. That's how it'd be. Aww. Shouts out to Miss Arena. In a very unexpected way, but yes. So, Arena wants to talk about personal matters, but you're all about... Oh, that's, that's a good little compliment, but... Karasuma just wants to talk about work, you know? Did she... Was she forced to kill at a young age? Is that what I saw? Was that a dead body next to her? I did get a little somber. Not the... Ooh. Ooh. The indirect kiss? Reveal killings, reveal feelings. Hey, baby steps. Use your tongue, your tongue. They're all disappointed. You can't just go in for a French kiss, you know. I think that was kind of a subtle, that was baby steps, but I kind of like what she did. That was kind of sly. They're all like, he's like, what the f are they doing? No, give it, give it extra thought. Come on. He doesn't take his mind out of work mode even for a second. So that was the official end of the vacation, and now we're going to start the summer festival, I assume. <laughs> it's uh, a sign, a testament to his life. Oh, I know you guys saw it. It's a, I just want to say it's a, it's a testament to how much he's improving mentally and physically from his classmates. Like, obviously, before Koro and the rest of this whole class, Ethan Nagisa dealt with getting into E-Class, which is a huge social stigma, his strict mother, his parents being split. But there's not a chance I'm not going to look at that. I mean, what game was he playing? Look at that boy Luffy. I love the anime references in this show. I can even see Zoro. You guys can probably barely see him. Down. Oh, that is so sick. <laughs> I was just lazing around anyway. Was it? Were those books for studying? Or, or was he actually lazing around? Zestar. Not a clue what that means. I wish I could read kanji. I would know exactly what those say. It seems as if he was studying. I don't know. Why would Lovro be in, like, this fucking Harry Potter fog fucking area? I'm afraid I'm out of Japan. <laughs> he could literally pick you up. I kind of have to feel Koro on that one. Like, if I host, like, a get-together and less people come than I thought would come, I, I do feel like, you know, I'm like, damn, why are they not coming? Shouts out, Lovro, saving us last season. I appreciate you. Imagine you took him as like your star pupil, right? This is the new character I saw in the opening. Don't kill Lovro. Whoa, are they killing Lovro? Ah, and this is you're not the name of the Reaper. This is the character we saw his back turned in the opening. Did he really kill Lovro? We only saw him a few episodes, but I really enjoyed Lovro. Can you guys remind me real quick why? Because he said Fear Not the Name of the Reaper. I had Reaper written down from last season. When did they mention that? When did I write that down? I appreciate you guys. He and Karma's figuring out how much of a scam these are. Yeah. Fair festival games are always a scam, in my opinion. My money back? Fuck no, I didn't spend 5000 to get my money back. Y'all better make it worth my while. Is that a Wii right there? Hold on. I'm I'm going to start pausing it more to catch these references because you guys have told me there's a lot of anime references that I'm not even getting. That's 100% a Wii. Oh, I remember doing that, catching some fish. That's what I'm saying. Don't you normally take those home and, like, keep them? Or maybe I'm mistaken, but I'm like, what? 
True. Same as me. Check out that Patreon, boys. <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> octopus balls, shaved ice. I've actually really wanted octopus balls. That's takoyaki, right? There's a takoyami. I'd be forgetting. I've always wanted to try it, though. I want to try a lot of Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. I want to try a lot of Asian street food, if I'm honest with you. Greater reward? Really? I was expecting a lesser. 30 bill for the group, which entices more teamwork and more... Let's get this actually settled. Because they know teamwork has infinitely more chance than doing it individually. That's the sad thing. I genuinely believe... By the end of this show, either Koro's gonna reveal something and he's gonna be cool, or he's gonna die, sadly. And I'm not looking forward to it. But let's hear this ending for the first time. All right, the 9th of September. They have an excess in eggs? What a waste, I'm saying. To salvage those discarded eggs and assassinate Koro. So they're having a secret class meeting without Koro to have some sort of plan with eggs. Oh, I mean, that's a good point. He will see right through that. <laughs> Honestly, that's one of the benefits of being a child is thinking so far outside the box. Egg pudding? Is that a thing? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't, I, I don't know how you make pudding. Is, do you use a mold or something? Is eggs and pudding? I don't know. I kind of like this new title sequence uh, compared to last season. I really like this one. Koro does have a sweet tooth. That is a good point. I love the 8-bit, the, the pixel animation of this. I feel like I'm back in culinary arts. I took culinary arts in school. We all wear aprons and stuff. Not as cool as them, though. Damn, look at this equipment. Oh my god. This is like we're in a military base. No matter what happens with Koro Sensei and the rest of these kids, I have full faith they are going to excel in the world. Every one of them. That's a good point. The scientific basis. And she studied up on flavor. Like, did you guys know that Dr. Pepper, the soda, was invented by a chemist? Like, science and food kind of go hand in hand. She's, she's generally the supporter. It's always great to see her fulfilling a leadership role when she's generally supporting us in, in everything we do, you know? But, like, look at this equipment. Blow air to, to separate the two. This is actually, like, some extreme thought. They did not need to do all this for an anime. They could have just said, we're going to make a big pudding, and it worked, but what? Like, look at this. This is in-depth as hell. Like a creme brulee. This needs to be... This needs to be in, like, a Guinness World Record book, I swear. When Koro comes in and is just elated. <laughs> no knives and forks. My man got two hand shovels. <laughs> I love the sound he's making. There's a camera in there. With consumable... Not the break time. I'm butthurt. I ate the, and then tunneled underground. Oh, that's actually nice. I love it in those sort of, uh, what are they called? That's not a wine glass because it's more rounded, but like, a, you know what I'm saying, cocktail glass. So where a pudding fan can be a top-notch assassin. I love how you, they show him in the, the silhouette of the glass. Jiggly blades at my disposal. Uh, puddings like jiggly. Uh, this this show in their humor, I really enjoy it. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Corals, are you pervin? <laughs> I 
What was that? We're not gonna come back to that? Turn cops and robbers? Okay, what is this, like, tag in uh, Promise Neverland? That's how they trained. <laughs> oh, Karasuma's gonna be the one chasing them? I like that. Cops and robbers. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're agile as shit. But look at this man. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, and that's why he has the glove to prove that he hit them. I like that. I like this game. And we have Ritsu giving us the, the constant updates. <laughs> but to say, what is this, an anime? And then bada boom, you're being animated, sir. Welcome to anime, Sugaya. <laughs> Making hand signals. Distract Koro, we'll get you. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okajima. <laughs> the bribe. Just this once. That was hilarious. <laughs> he put it in his pocket. He said, just this <laughs> Oh my god. He said, Koro, Koro, Koro. Just this one. <laughs> it's like, Ooh, that was actually hilarious. Now they're going to try to use the guilt trip. I mean, that might work. Koro's a very empathetic person. Yep. <laughs> the way they're getting out of this is so hilarious. Kirasuma lost. He actually would have won had it not been for the kids getting out. That is so fucking funny. What are you seeing? Weekly punch instead of shonen jump. <laughs> I just got that. I kind of like that. A quiet neighborhood shaken. A yellow menace targets F cups and above. That's what, that's Koro Pervin. Exclusive late night terror and Kunugi. Hold on. Ku, kunugi, Kunugi Gakua. Gaoka. That is a hard ass prefecture to say or city. Um, but that's supposed to be a reference to Shonen Jump, right? Weekly Punch? I don't know, but I really like that. It's called Weekly Shonen Jump. They'll gaze at me with such affection, meanwhile they all have the news of him being a perv, yeah. Yeah? Good question. Where were you? What were you doing? I mean, those fries are surely seasoned. <laughs> They're like, okay, he he is a huge perv. Add two, <laughs> add two Brutus, add two Brutus. Not a good look, Coro. The proof. I I don't. Forever. <laughs> See, I don't think he would go that far, though. He's a perv, but there's limits to your pervality, you know? And I, I don't think he would pull out the evidence against him, not knowing he put that there last time. You know, he's a smart, he's a smart octopus, so I think he's getting framed. Is he, or is he just that? Is he getting exposed? It actually is a see being like the little like having dirty man is no crime, but he's actually, you know. Yeah. Fair point. That's what I'm saying. Oh, 100%. That's his number one goal is to be your guys' good teacher. I firmly agree. If I had to assume, I don't think it's any of the classmates. I would have to assume either Gaku Shu Asano or his son, but I don't think they would go to such lengths to frame him, like making pervs themselves, you know? I don't think it's Reaper, because he seems a little too dark for that. I really don't know. I really have no idea. <laughs> the fake sensei, the old hero movie bad guy trope in action, it is. How can you prove to me you're the real Koro? 
Oh, I didn't even think about this. It could be the brother and uh, Shiro, right? Those guys are willing to do anything to get Koro in trouble, so. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. She's still on Forever Fly. I mean, I get it. That's quite, you know. Women, girls are insecure. I, I get it. This music is fire. A yellow motorcycle mask. Motorcycle helmet. This is like some Scooby-Doo type shit. I'll strip you naked and take from stem to stem. Okay, this is like some hentai shit. <laughs> what? Why? This was all an elaborate trap by Shiro. I'm glad I was able to guess it. I'm glad I was somewhat able to guess it as he just crawls out. So these are anti-Koro sheets. Something tells me, because we have 23 episodes left in the season, it's not going to be the final death match. Itona and Shiro. Wow, his tentacles look kind of sick now. You said that last time, though. You know, that was the end? God damn. That kind of fell quick. So, fun start to season two. Feels like we're right back in a more assassination classroom with our crazy attempts. I love the whole pudding and Kayano situation. This one is interesting. It seems like every six or seven-ish episodes we get Shiro and Itona just coming back for some crazy shenanigans but uh thoroughly enjoying this like I said always the music is amazing the character development is always fantastic <laughs> genuinely some of the funnier moments in, in an anime for me in these last couple episodes I love the anime references whether it's Naruto it's Aquan Titan One Piece you know I love that shit um anything else Koro Nagisa Nagisa somewhat taking a backseat I am slightly upset. I believe Lovro is dead. I'm hoping he's not, but Reaper is going to be a fair menace. He's kind of intimidating. I do like how he did the finger gun. And then somehow it's either him with like an ability he has or a sniper behind him ready. Finger gun got, oh, that's crazy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Enjoyed, if you enjoyed the free full length, consider checking out that Patreon to keep that format for the rest of the season, all that jazz. Check out everything else I'm uploading on Patreon, One Piece, uh, Kuroko no Basket, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.